In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download the WordPress installation files and upload them into your cPanel using File Manager, create a database in the username, and connect them to install your WordPress installation. Let's get started. To get started installing WordPress on your cPanel, first of all, you're going to need a cPanel username and password. You can usually get this by any hosting company where you bought your hosting plan. So after you have your username and password, you can access the cPanel link and just click login after entering your username and password. This is how the cPanel dashboard looks like. And I'm going to take you step by step and show you how to install WordPress on a fresh cPanel. So meaning I haven't touched the cPanel before, I never logged in before, this is how the cPanel looks when you initially log in. The first thing we're going to need to do is to download the WordPress files. To do that, you can jump into the site wordpress.org and on top you'll have a blue button called Get WordPress you click on that and then you download the zip files. You can just save them on your desktop or what, wherever it's easy for you to access. Inside of the cPanel, the first thing you're going to want to do is click on File Manager. So just one click. Make sure you notice that it opens this in a new tab. This is really good for us because later on we're going to jump back into the main cPanel. Over here inside of your file manager, you need to click on public HTML where all the files need to be. This is the only folder they can be in. Make sure that you enter that folder and you don't want to delete anything. You don't want to do anything. The only thing you want to do is click upload. Over here, where we're going to select our WordPress file that we've just downloaded, which is a zip file. So I'm going to select file and I'm going to choose the WordPress zip that I've downloaded from wordpress.org. So just select that and it will take a couple of seconds to upload to the cPanel. While this is uploading, the next thing I'm going to do is to create a database and user. So I'm going to jump into the main cPanel and over here we have a section that's called MySQL databases. I'm gonna click on that once and over here, we need to create a database, a database user, and then we need to sign the uh, user to the database. Let's do this step by step. So first of all, over here, I'm going to put my name and click create database. You can see that the database has been created successfully. I'm going to click go back and I'm going to scroll down and over here you can see all the databases that you have in this exact cPanel. So this is the one that I've created. Right now the size is zero bytes because there's nothing inside. Gonna keep scrolling down and over here we're going to create a database user. Again, I'm going to put the same string that I put over here. It doesn't have to be the same, but for me it's more easy to remember this way. The next step after you put in the username is to create a password. I'm going to use the password generator for that. So just click on the password generator, click on the password, going to copy it using command or control C, close, and I'm going to paste that in over here and over here. Next thing is to click create user. And the user has been created successfully. Now I can click go back. The last step over here is to scroll down to the end. And the last section is for adding a user to the database. Now, right now we have only one user and one database. So we can just click add without selecting anything because there's only one in one. So I'm going to click add. And over here is one of the most important parts we need to select all privileges to give the user all the privileges that he needs to manage the database. 
Down here to save this, we're going to click make changes and I'm going to leave this part open. Don't close this part yet. We can close it afterwards when I say so. Let's jump back into the file manager and as you can see, the WordPress zip file has been uploaded successfully. To go back to the file manager, I'm just going to click go back and I'm going to jump into the correct tab and you can see that over here the zip file has been uploaded. The next step is to unzip this zip file. So I'm just going to click once and then I'm going up here. We have some action buttons and I'm going to click extract. This will extract all the files from the zip file and open the zip file. Right now at this part, you can see the folder has been unzipped. You can delete the zip file. So let's just select that and click delete on the top because we don't need it anymore. Let's jump into the WordPress folder by double clicking. And what we need to do is select all of these files over here and move them one folder up because right now they're inside the WordPress folder. So just gonna click on the first item and hold my shift key and click on the last item. The next thing we are going to do is we're going to move these. So to move these, we have a action button over here that says move. And what we want to do is take them out of the folder, the WordPress folder and put them inside of the public HTML. So all you need to do is just delete the word WordPress and click move files. Great. To go back to where we were before, just click up one level. And now you can see that all of our files are here. Now we're ready for the last part, which is connecting our WordPress files with the database that we've created over here. So jump into a new tab in your browser, type in your donate domain name. And the first thing you're going to see is the WordPress installation setup configuration. Over here, it's really important to select the language that you want to install your WordPress in. I'm going to use English United States and click continue. Now over here, it just gets you ready for what you're going to need to put in the next part, which is the database name, which we've created the database username, which we've created and the database password. So these three things we've already created over here in this tab. So let's just click, let's go to continue. And right now we need to put in the database name, the username, and the password. Now the password I've already have uh, since I've copied it to my clipboard. So I'm going to paste that in first so we don't lose it. So command or control V to paste. And that's the password that we've put for the database for database name and username. As you can see in the first tab over here, they're the same. So let's just copy one of these command or control C and jump back into the config and I'm going to paste them in name in database name and username. So these usually I make them the same just to make the, the process more easy. And those are the only three fields that we need to touch database host. You don't need to touch. This should be local host and table prefix. You don't need to touch. So I'm going to click submit and run installation over here. We can give our site a name. So I'm going to call it a meet Karen, which is my name and a username. This is the username that will be used to log in inside of, um, inside of the dashboard. So I'm just going to use my name or maybe I'll give it admin. So it will be easier for me to remember. And the next thing I'm going to add a password. Now I'm going to make my password simple and I'm going to change this after the video, of course, but let's confirm the use of a weak password and you should put your email over here. This is really important to get updates. Don't put any gibberish or any fake mail over here. It's really, really important uh, for uh, all sorts of stuff. So just put the correct email over here. And if, your site is going to be in development. You can discourage search engines from indexing it. Let's click install WordPress and let's check out 
now it's connecting everything you can see that it's done it successfully so our username is admin and our password is one two three four what i put before so i'm just going to click login and now it takes you to where you need to put your username and password so i'm just going to write my username and my password one two three four you can turn this on just to see that and i'm going to click login to log in into my website awesome so we've done everything successfully so that was the process of how you upload your wordpress zip files to cpanel create a database and connect between the files and the database i hope you found this tutorial helpful and I'm going to see you in the next video.